promised me that I was more than all the miles combined. You must have made YouTuber flight attendant. I'm in the middle of a massive closet turnover. I'm packing some food to bring with me. I finished my suitcases. Yeah, I was packed. And I think there was an accident. It's a bathing suit cover up because if you stay tuned, you'll find out where I'm going to go on my first trip and has something to do with a bathing suit, which is extremely exciting. Yeah. All right, well, that's that. Good morning. Taking Ryan to school. Are you happy to see your mama? Yeah. Be together? That's good. Yeah, that's good. All right, baby doll, have a great day at school. I love you so much. Good luck on all your things. Thanks. And yeah, I'll you see you no one's seeing me. after school. All right, bye. Right, bye. Love you. Love that boy. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's vlog. I'm Jill, this is It's the Donnellys, and we are embarking on a whole new adventure in our family because I have started a second career as a flight attendant. If you haven't been watching, please go check out some videos, and actually, I will link them um, at the end of this video to sort of show you my journey and how that all came to be. I've been a YouTuber for eight years and working for myself, living at home, working from home, of course, living at home, working from home, and um, and working from all of the different fun travel locations and schools and universities and places where we go. But now I am going to be a flight attendant. I'm also going to be a YouTuber, but I'm a YouTuber flight attendant. Anywho, so I just graduated training on uh, Friday and today is Tuesday. I got home on Friday night, so I've been home Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and today is Tuesday. I'm getting ready to turn and leave again because my uh, first flight is going to be at the end of the week. So this is what I'm doing, like literally, okay, so first of all, I'm a Southwest flight attendant. And after graduation, they send you home for like five days to sort of figure out how you're going to make this whole thing work because so many people are commuters. So that means that they don't fly out of the city in which they live. So they live in a city or live in a small town somewhere and then have to fly the day before up to or over to or down to or wherever their base is, wherever they fly out of and then fly. So basically how some people drive to work and maybe like commute into the city, we fly to work if we don't live in the city from which we fly. And I do not live in the city from which I'm going to be flying. However, the good news is I used to live there and I still have a house there. So I got based in BWI, which is Baltimore. And if you guys have been watching for a while, you know that we used to live in Maryland. We just moved to Florida a little like a year and a half ago um, from Maryland and we kept our house in Maryland. So this is perfect for me to be able to fly from Florida up to Baltimore and then start all my trips from there because I get to stay in my own house. I get to put my own food in my refrigerator, that kind of stuff. If you weren't, if you were a commuter and you didn't have a house like we do, this is such a unique situation, then you would either fly up and pay to stay in hotels or you would fly up and you would get what's called a crash pad, which is they have like, people have put together houses or condos or apartments, or whatever, where they put a ton of beds in a bedroom. Like there might be six beds, so three sets of bunk beds in a bedroom and where pe flight attendants and pilots can just come and crash. That's what's why it's called a crash pad. So it's literally just, if you had to fly up the night before, you could go there, stay, and then fly out. And it's less expensive to do that. Well, I don't know, it's probably, sometimes it's less expensive than a hotel to do that. I am a little too old and not in, in not interested at all in crash padding, and I don't need to. Now, had I gotten a base in, let's say, Phoenix or something, I might have had to do that or had to look at a different um, alternative. Or you could be like my friend Sydney, and you could move. She um, is based in Denver, so she's moving to Denver. Um, but she doesn't. She's not married with with children. She's very mobile, so she can do that. I have no desire to move. I love where I live. My family is here, um, but it's also nice to be able to stay in our house in uh, Maryland and be able to fly out of there. So that was a bunch of information all at once. What I'm doing right now is I've taken um, these past few days to sort of get all my ducks in a row, figure out how this whole lifestyle change fits into what I need, what I need to pack, what I need to buy, what I need to take back. One of the things I'm gonna do is, um, which is really great, I'm gonna take a lot of my clothes from my 
um, my closet down here and take them back up to Maryland um, because I brought a lot of my cold clothes down here for the cruise and all that stuff. We went on a cruise to Alaska this summer, which was amazing. Um, but also now that I'm going to be needing some clothes up there, I'll be up there more often. I'll be up there on the weekly. So I'm going to take some stuff up there. Um, Mike and I are going to drive tomorrow to Maryland and leave a car up there. So when I'm flying, I can drive back and forth to the airport. It's a logistics, you guys, it's a logistics, I'm not going to say nightmare. It's a logistics challenge and something that I love to figure out. So we're taking the car up there. I'm taking some clothes up there. I'm going to fly and then fly back here when I'm done. So then every time I go up there, I'll have my car up there. And we'll have Mike's car down here. And I have a little Volkswagen bug that I'm going to keep down here for it. It's my little Florida car. So everything is um, so far falling into place, knock on wood, that it all works out. So today what I'm doing is I am um, getting all my clothes packed, getting ready to go, and getting my uniforms ready, getting, um, sort of trying to figure out the food situation, because a lot of times when um, flight attendants travel, they bring their own food with them because sometimes you don't get a chance to get to the airport and eat, and who wants to eat airport food every day? Um, so I have a lot of things on my docket that I'm doing. So come with me. It took a little time to come to the pool. Mike is swimming over there, doing his workout, and I'm just hanging out in the sunshine to get some vitamin D before I go back in an airplane. That's one of my concerns. Oh, oh look at Southwest right there, you guys. Can you see? Whoa! Yay! It's a whole different vibe now when I see a Southwest plane. I've always been a huge Southwest fan, but now when I see one, gets me very excited. I know what's going on up there. Um, so anyway, yeah, so I'm taking some time while I'm here to just relax a little bit and um, hang out by the pool. We're going out to dinner with friends tonight who I haven't seen in a long time, of course, since before I went to training, so I'm excited to see them. And then I did some laundry too. Um, I washed my uniforms and then I'm going to pack tonight for my clothes to bring home. So it's just sort of getting everything ready. Ryan... <laughs> The thing is, like, I saw so many comments you guys say about, like, how could you leave Ryan? How could you leave him his senior year? Ryan is never home. When I tell you that he's, like, he went straight today from school to a meeting and to a concert. Yesterday, he went straight from school to his girlfriend's house and then to um, Young Life last night. Like, the kid is Mr. Social, Mr. Everything. So we do have to actually book appointments. Be like, okay, Ryan, come home for dinner on Sunday night. Okay, come home Wednesday after school. We'll go get ice cream or we'll just hang out for a little bit. We literally have to book appointments with him. So I think it'll be just fine booking appointments for him on the days that I am home and then I'm not flying. Um, so anyway, you probably won't see him in this video. Maybe you will tonight. Maybe you'll see him. Um, but he is all over the place, all the time, always doing something, which makes me very proud. All right, we're taking care of business while I'm home. A few things we needed to get. Mike has been jonesing for an ironing board. <laughs> Look how excited he is. So we're at the Goodwill. We found this one. It's $5.99. It has a little place for your iron. Mike, show me how this is going to work for you. Oh my gosh. I am thrilled. <laughs> ironing boards at Target are like 35 bucks. Okay, well this is the way so to go. this is the tip of the day. Yeah. And it's Google, we'll take this off, we'll walk through the washing machine. Put it back on, excellent. Tell me what's, what uh, did it for you. Show me the feature on the bottom. What did it for Ready? you, if this is the one that you wanted. It's the clipper, what? Ready? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Clip, clip. Oh, it, yes, this clipped shut. The other ones didn't clip shut. So that is... Uh, That's a dollar less than the other one, right? Uh, and they don't, they don't know what they have on their hands, Mike. I say get it while it's hot. Score. Before they change the... Before they change the price on that. <laughs> Congratulations, babe. Sure. Yep, we are going to be the proud owners of a new earning board. I'm in the middle of a massive closet turnover. Sorry, it's a little bit dark in here, but this is what I got. <laughs> so I am just coming off, as you guys know, of four weeks of flight attendant training where I was out. I was gone. So I had to pack for four weeks, and now I came back unpacked. Now I'm repacking because I'm repacking um, items because, again, I'm based in Baltimore. So I'm repacking clothes to take up to Baltimore and in Maryland. And... 
I am packing for my trip, my flight attendant trip, and my tripod is not wanting to stand up, so I apologize if it falls over. And again, it's a little bit dark in here. So, so oh, sorry about that. Okay, um, we're trying to make this work. Hold on a second. There we go. Anyway, I have this huge bag from Ikea, which is one of the bags that the kids use to pack for college. And I happen to bring a few bags, so I'm gonna pack this up with items because my closet is way too full. Um, and now I'm gonna be living sort of in both places so I can take clothes back up there. These are my flight attendant shoes, can you guys see that? And I'm bringing um, this with me. This is a bathing suit cover up because if you stay tuned, you'll find out where I'm gonna go on my first trip and has something to do with the bathing suit, which is extremely exciting. I probably won't tell you in this video, but I'll tell you in some of the subsequent videos. So stay tuned, keep watching where I'm gonna go. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna bring up yet. So let's see here. I'm probably gonna bring some shoes. And I'm going to bring some more shoes. Oh, these slippers. I don't need these slippers here because they're warm. And I got new slippers for training, which I will keep down here. Awesome. I have, what else can I take up? Because I don't really need cold shoes. But the rest of these are actually pretty good. And I'll probably wear them down here. Um, okay. So, here we go. Now I'm packing some food to bring with me. I finished my suitcases. So I'm just going to bring some snacks for now. And then when I get back to up to Maryland, I think I'm going to get some hard boiled eggs and maybe like chicken salad or something like that to bring with me as long as I can get a food bag that I could put an ice thing in. But I might not even go that far this time because I'm not exactly sure how the whole thing is gonna go. So I might just wing it the first time and buy food and figure out what it is that I'll need. But I do need snacks because oftentimes on the plane, we are going um, from city to city to city and sometimes you don't get off the plane and then sometimes you do get off the plane, but you've got to run to your gate. So um, just to be able to snack on foods, I can't really like whip out a whole salad in the back of the plane <laughs> with like forks and knives and all that stuff. So um, finger food is the best way to go. So I have some peanut butter pretzels I'm going to put in here. And then I have some red apricots that I'm probably going to put in here. And then I have these little things I had from training from Trader Joe's, so just little packages of trail mix. I'll bring those as well. And then, I don't know, I'm gonna look around and see if there's anything else I should bring, but I wanna make sure they are healthy and filling. So we'll start with these for now. All right, so I don't have very much, but this is what I have so far. These will be good snackies, I think. But then I think the rest of the stuff I'll buy. I also have my coffee with me. I have my um, Starbucks Via and that's it for now. But I can figure some of this stuff out tomorrow and on Thursday, because I don't fly till Friday. <laughs> So this is something that drives Ryan nuts. Ryan's coming home, the door is locked, but I can't get up because I've got a cat on my lap. Drives Mike nuts too. <laughs> but I absolutely won't disturb the cat for anything. Babe, I had a cat on my lap. What? I had a cat on my lap. I couldn't get up and unlock the door. Huh? Cool. It's all right. Yeah. How was your concert? It was so much fun. Though. It was? I'm really tired now. I bet you are. You guys, look, it's 1 o'clock in the morning. He I left for school, school, and then I went with Ethan to his house, and then with Callie went to the concert. Like, okay, so we got there at 6.30 because we thought it was starting at 8, and 8 came around, and it was the opener, and we are like, oh, okay, no problem. But the opener played for, like, 30 minutes, which isn't, like, crazy long, and then it waited another 30 minutes. He didn't start until 9.17. Whoa. It was a Tuesday night. Right. So, he played, it was really good, but we didn't end up walking out until like 11. Wow. And then... Did you stay till the end? Yeah. Yeah. And then at 11, we're, we sat and didn't get out of the, like, the line uh -huh. until like 12. Oh my gosh. Like after 12. We sat there and did not move for a while. Wow. So, it was packed. Yeah, it was packed. And I think there was an accident. Oh, sugar. Um, but like it was just like a fender bender, but it was in the parking lot, so everyone was just right, just sort of stuck. Yeah. So, 
Um, but yeah, I had a little nap on the way home. It was still <laughs> a great time. Excellent. Did you know a lot of the songs? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Hey, everyone. Uh, I am at my second concert ever. We are at Noah Khan in Tampa, Florida right now. I'm with my girlfriend, Callie, and my friend, Ethan. Uh, it's the opener right now. Noah's about to come on in like a minute. So she's going to finish up a song. And then we're going to hear him. If you don't know who Noah Khan is, please check out his music. It's fantastic. I became a fan like a couple months ago, and now we're at a concert. So we're going to have a fantastic time. And yeah, see you guys. Thursday. I know. I, I called her before. I called her. She didn't pick us. I texted her. And then, um, called her, or we finally connected. Connected. Okay, good. Um, so, I was just talking to her first. Okay. Yes, yeah, it's sleep. All right. I know. All right. What made you happy today, babe? Uh, going to see Noah Khan. Excellent. Highly recommend his show. Good. He, he doesn't seem... Well, first of all, the whole venue was great. Like, all the... People were very nice. Good. Like it was outside. Yeah, outside, beautiful night. Like the concert venue couldn't have been better. That's but, awesome. Uh, we were like, we got there early, so we were like front and center on the lawn, which was really good. Nice. But um, you can tell he's not like a seasoned celebrity either. He's just kind of like, he just kind of has that feel to him where he's just like a normal guy, regular like, guy. Which is just, which is fun. So That's nice. Earth. How many people on the stage? On the stage, it's just him and then four guys in his band. Okay. So it's like him front center and then two to the side and two to the back. Really just a... And uh, and there's like three songs where it was just him and his guitar. Oh. And the mic, which it, it's just... It's just yeah. Crazy. Yeah. And he was just killing it, so... Good for him. Mm -hmm. Good for him and good for you. Right. That's awesome. All, All right, right. Bubba Lou. Well, I'll see you in the morning uh, before you go to school. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, that's that. See you guys later.